Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, change the uh, some of the colors that we have happening here. And I'm going to do that by going to the Layer menu. I'm going to drop down to New Adjustment Layer. And to start off with, I'm going to change the hue and saturation. We're going to do a little bit of um, a color change on the eyes here. Now when I hit OK, we'll be presented with a dialog box. And what happens if I start to move this slider is that the whole color of the image changes. Let's say I wanted to change the eyes to, um, well, why don't we try blue? So if I move the hue layer like this, you'll notice that I now have blue eyes. When I hit OK, you'll see that the changes have been made. Of course, the real problem here is that now the entire image is, is blue, and I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is selecting the layer mask of this adjustment layer in the layers palette. I'm going to hold down Command I. That's Control I on a PC. What that does is inverts the mask. So instead of being all white, the mask is now all black, and that means that any changes it's making can't be seen. What I'm going to do now is hit Z on my keyboard to pick up the zoom tool and zoom into um, the first eye here. Now, by selecting the brush tool by pressing B and changing the size of this brush with the square bracket keys, I'm going to start painting white on the eye here. Now, because the opacity um, of this brush is set to 50%, I may have to click a few times to be sorted for all of these changes to be seen, uh, the full strength of the changes to be seen. Now, in Photoshop, if you want to see what you've painted on a mask, the easiest way to do that is by holding down the Option key, that's the Alt key on a PC, and clicking on the uh, layer mask icon over in the Layers palette. And what you can see here is that with this layer, I've revealed uh, the area of the eye, but everything else is, um, is not visible. So all I'm doing is showing the, the blue hue and saturation change on the eye here. Now to zoom out, I'm going to hold down the zoom tool, hold down the option key, that's the alt key on a PC, and press the zoom tool a couple of times to zoom out. And you'll notice that the um, change is quite profound. I'm going to perform the same change to the right eye by zooming in using the zoom tool, pressing B to select the brush tool. Now to change the opacity, rather than going up to the uh, slider in the options bar, I'm going to press 0 on my keyboard just to change um, that opacity. Now I'm going to press this key a couple of times here, just being careful to um, stay within the iris because I don't want to make any more of the image blue than I have to. Sorry, there we go. If I type 50% down here, and hit enter, you'll notice that um, I've now changed the eyes of my photograph from um, brown to blue. To see those changes, I'm going to turn this layer on and off in the layers palette. And you can see that's quite a um, significant and substantial change. Now this technique can be used for um, all facets of a photograph. Um, for instance, we could um, change the uh, lightness of a person's teeth. Now what I'm going to do here is go up to the Layer menu, go down to New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. And this time around I'm looking to um, make some changes to the teeth. Now what I'm going to do is first of all take out the um, saturation. So we're really getting a, a pure um, black and white. And the next thing I'm going to do is increase the um, lightness of that. When I press OK, what you'll notice is that um, I've changed once again the whole image. Now, I don't want to make this adjustment to the whole image, I just want to make this adjustment to the teeth. So what I'm going to do is hold, uh, click on the layer mask over here in the layers palette and press Command I. Now we haven't applied any changes here. Um, and we can selectively start to reveal these changes to the teeth um, by selecting the brush tool by pressing B 
and then starting to paint white onto our teeth. Now we have to be careful here to um, just paint on the teeth and what you'll notice is that uh, if we do this carefully I'm going to press the X key just to paint around there again. If we do this carefully it's a really cool way to um, lighten somebody's teeth. That's not exactly the the neatest job but to hide and show those changes I'm going to turn the um, layer on and off in the layers palette. You can see that we've changed the the lightness of the teeth. Of course these changes can also be made um, to hair color as well using a very similar procedure. Um, depending on the color of the hair this can be quite effective. Very light colors um, of hair can be made darker um, and even dark colors can be tinted um, different colors. However it's very difficult to actually change um, black hair to a much lighter blonde color.